Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, one of the questions I've been asked a few times in the past uh, couple of days and um, talking about, you know, end of support, some people are tempted to go a different way. And it's a way that works and a uh, way that uh, could be interesting. So the question is, what do you think about me on a Windows 10 machine, um, unsupported for Windows 11, use the tricks to install Windows 11 unsupported? And what would be the problems attached with that? And this, uh, quite a few people have asked me. They want to move on to Windows 11, don't want to change the machine, and that's definitely a way you can do it. And it will work on 25H2. You will get the security updates. And um, here is how it works. So first of all, you need a tool to create a bootable drive or an install drive that is capable of moving on without the checks. And of course, you can create this using Rufus, which is the tool that um, you can actually remove the check for uh, upgrading to Windows 11. And I will share this uh, in the description below. Um, and you'll be able to move on without having any problems. What's going to happen next? And here is what to expect. Once you're in Windows 11 from an upgrade to an unsupported machine, first, you got to know that a Windows version for consumers is good for two years. So that means if you install 24H2, right now you'll have a little more than a year before it needs an upgrade. My suggestion at this point would be if you want to do that, how about waiting till 25H2 arrives and then use that trick to install 25H2, which gives you a two full year without thinking about next, what am I doing? So that means you'll go until the October, November 2027 date before you decide what's next. Why do you have to decide what's next? Because the problem with an unsupported machine going to Windows 11 has to do with the fact that that next version that you need does not install automatically. Why? It doesn't show up because your machine is unsupported. Your machine does not have the minimum requirement. So it doesn't show in Windows Update. Uh, where, you know, everybody that has a supported mas machine will see 25H2, for example. Those on unsupported right now won't see 25H2 appear in Windows updates. Why? Because the machine doesn't meet the requirement. So it's a question of you have to upgrade manually to the new version. So that's why I'm kind of telling you, well, wait for 25H2. So like that, you won't have to think about that for two years. And you know what? Two years at a time with technology, you never know what's going to happen to your PC. You never know if you might, in that two years, um, finally think, hey, I'm going to buy a new computer. And uh, you'll have, you know, two years is enough time to see, am I going to upgrade again using, you know, the free tools? And one thing that you've got to think about, but personally, I'll give my opinion on that. Microsoft has said if your machine is unsupported that it will not, you know, at any time it could stop the upgrade process. It could decide that you won't get any updates. It could. I honestly am pretty sure Microsoft will never go there. Why? Why bother? Honestly, why bother? You're on Windows 11. This is what they want anyways. And even though apparently they don't like it, uh, you know what? You'll moved on to Windows 11, and that's it, and who cares? And, um, I, and I'm pretty sure they will never, never change those requirements, block any requirements, and you should be okay for the next years with Windows 11 unsupported. This could all change in Windows 12, of course, 
but with Windows 11, I don't think they will ever change anything that will prevent you from continuing. But it is a warning that Microsoft did give up, meaning that, who knows, they could change their minds, but I don't think at this point, they would have done it a long time ago if they had to do it. So yeah, going to Windows 11 uh, on an unsupported system is a possibility, and using the roughest tool is one of the ways you could do it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.